In this tutorial, we will learn how to protect a cell after entering data with the help of VBA code. Sometimes there is a need like we want someone to enter data, but that entered data should not be changed. So here we have three columns A, B and C. In column A, we have employee ID. In column B, we have sale target and in column C, we have total sale. So if I enter any number in column C, then that number should not be changed again. So let's say if I enter 450 and if I press enter and then I go back and I want to make changes in 450, I should not be able to do that. So whenever we enter data in a cell, then to avoid any changes in that cell, that is what we are going to develop in this tutorial with the help of VBA code. So first of all, what I will do, I will open a new Excel file. And here, let's say employee ID name and or instead of name we can say sales target and then sale let me increase width of these three columns here we can say employee id is 1001 then 1002 we can select two cells and we can drag down sales target let me enter 500 for each employee and here i will highlight cells and i will give border to these cells or let me give border to entire range now the task is that i want someone or I want to enter numbers in column C but I should not be able to make changes once any entry is made as of now if I enter let's say 400 I press enter I can go back and make changes or make it 350 so I want to stop this so what we can do is as a first step select entire sheet and then we can right click or we can press control one we can see that by default on format cells on protection tab we have log so we will uncheck it press ok now we can say we have unlogged entire sheet now step 2 select entire sheet again again press control 1 or right click and then lock press ok and step 3 we need to select specific cells that we need to enter data in for that I am going to select these yellow highlighted cell so once we have selected these yellow highlighted cells I will again press control 1 and then change them to unlocked and press ok now what we have to do is I will go to review tab and then click protect sheet in this window I will give password you can give any password I am giving like a b c once I press ok one more time same password that is a b c press ok now next step is I will go to VBA editor window for that I will press alt and F11 so when I press alt F11 
then I can see VBA window. Here on left hand side we can see this workbook and sheet 1. So I will double click on sheet 1. Here we have two drop downs out of these two. In first one we will select worksheet. By default event that is there for worksheet is selection change but we need to use change event so i will delete this so here we can see that we have selected on left hand side sheet one then from first drop down worksheet and from second drop down change event here we will write vba code that will work for us so let's see what is the VBA code? So VBA code I will write here as active sheet dot unprotect then space password colon equal to sign and same password that we have already given A B C press enter next line target dot logged equal to this target cell is same cell where we will enter data next line is active sheet dot protect colon equal to same password abc press enter there is a mirror active sheet let me write it again dot protect so these three lines will work for us once we have written VBA code on left hand side in VBA project I will press on this expanded sign and we have stopped the code I would I would say like uh, we have we are trying to avoid any user to view code for that once we change this sign into plus then we will go to tools and here I will go to VBA project properties on this window go to protection lock project for viewing so that nobody should be able to view your VBA code password here we can give any password to avoid any confusion we can give same password as ABC or any password that you feel is good for you to remember so I am giving ABC ABC again and OK. So we are done. I will close this VBA window. Now I will save this file on my desktop. Here I can give name like testing macro or testing protection in second drop down of this box we have to give excel macro enabled file i will save this file and then i will close this file and the previous file as well now from this I will open the same file that we have saved testing protection once this file is open then in yellow highlighted cells I will make entry like uh, 350 I will press enter now if I go back 
and change 350 to let's say 400 but excel will not allow in second cell i can still enter data and press enter but when i go back and try to change this to 120 or anything i cannot do that in the same manner i can keep entering data but once data is entered we cannot change that so this is how we can develop this kind of sheet where user can enter data only one time and data or i would say entered data cannot be changed again we have to be very careful towards step by step development of this sheet any missing step will lead to error or we won't be able to accomplish this thank you for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe in case you need the same workbook write to excel destination at the rate gmail.com thank you